Hare Krishna. Welcome to the Krishna Deerin way of cooking. So today I have come up with another Janmashtami Bhog recipe. This is a creamy cauliflower potato sabji which has a perfect restaurant style flavor. This sabji is a little bit mild spicy, has a little intense flavor which can go easily with simple chapatis, naan or rice. Becomes a perfect gourmet recipe for the festivals. So let's look into the recipe. So first in a wok, I am going to take around 2 tablespoons of mustard oil. And I am going to let this mustard oil heat up and then add a quarter teaspoon of asafoetida. Then add around 2 medium sized cube cut potatoes. Now add around half teaspoon of salt to it and then one teaspoon of black pepper powder and cook it on low heat until these potatoes get cooked nicely. This is what we want. Now I'll empty these potatoes and then add another one tablespoon of more mustard oil and let it heat up. The reason why we let the mustard oil heat is because the raw smell and the flavor of the mustard oil has to go away. So I added here around one medium size of florets of cauliflower. So I'm going to cook it just until it turns a little bit brown and I'm going to add around a teaspoon of salt to it. You have to do this on medium heat. So now you see the cauliflower also got a little bit tender. This is what we want. So I'm going to now empty the cauliflower also in another plate. Now once you turn off the stove, you have to make sure to wipe this spice a little bit. Now I'm going to add around 2 tablespoons of regular sunflower oil and then add 2 teaspoons of cumin seeds to it. Saute it then add few curry leaves. Then add a little bit of hing more and then a cup of chopped cabbage, 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder. Cook it nicely. Cook it for around 5 minutes. Now add coriander cumin seed powder which is around 2 teaspoons. Now the oil starts separating. Now I added around 4 medium sized chopped tomatoes. Have a nicely ripe tomatoes. These are like wine tomatoes. So good. So I will cover it and cook it on medium heat until the tomatoes get tender. Don't add any water. A teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of garam masala. Then I have degi which which is not too much spicy. It's just color. So two tablespoons of that. Sprinkle water at intervals. Cook on medium heat for around five to seven minutes. Then added around half cup of whipping cream or liquid cream in total and then continuously cooked it on medium heat and then added the potatoes and the cauliflower. On top of that added half cup of water. Now crushed uh, fenugreek leaves which is also called as kasturi methi which is around 1 teaspoon. Cooked it nicely, added another half cup of water and cooked it for 5 minutes. Then on top I added 1 teaspoon of ginger powder. Again cooked it for 5 minutes and then turned off the stove and garnished with 1 cup of chopped cilantro. So here our nice creamy cauliflower potato sabji is ready. Do try making the sabji in this manner because you will experience a little different flavor of the sabji. The way it is cooked and the series in which the spices are added. I just came up with this recipe as how I come with other recipes of my sabjis and it turned out so good that I had to write it down. So please, please follow this recipe and let me know how it turned out for you. Look at the creamy texture, how wonderful it looks and look at how beautifully the potatoes and the cauliflower are cooked in it. The reason why we fry the potatoes and the cauliflower first because so that later on we do not have to cook the cauliflower and the potatoes too much. So that helps in keeping the fried texture and flavor of the cauliflower and the potatoes. And we are just gently mixing it in the cream 
curry which we cooked. Now I will garnish with little bit of cilantro, chopped cilantro, and then place a tulsi leaf and offer it at the lotus feet of Shri Krishna. Thank you so much for watching. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Welcome to my channel, Krishna Dairy. If this is your first time watching this video or visiting the channel, then don't forget to subscribe to it. If you have been watching my videos regularly but haven't yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it. If there are any constructive feedbacks or any queries related to the recipe, food or the diet of Krishna Consciousness or Krishna Therian, then please write to me in the comment section and I will be happy to respond to you. One more thing I wanted to inform is that I recently published a cookbook which is around 348 recipes with 400 images. So that particular book is available in paperback and hardcover format. And also multiple digital copies of this book is available. If you're interested in buying it, then I have shared a link in the description. And also there will be book review available for which I have also shared a link in the description.